Oh, me and Red Cat's down here checking out uh, my new Space Invaders game, and it is up and running. Uh, it's going to be hard to do one handed here. But uh, I love that thumping bass they got in this game. It really, really adds to it. Uh, if you remember, I got this game back in uh, May. I bought it for five dollars, and uh, the next week I got uh, uh, asteroids and a uh, um, missile command for five dollars each. Uh, so I contacted a guy to uh, fix uh, fix Space Invaders up, uh, and I was going to trade him the other two games in return for fixing this one. We had it all set up, then the guy went and had a heart attack, and uh, he didn't make it out here till September. I hear you down there. Um, what's up, boy? Um, so, he came out September, took out the parts that, uh, were bad, uh, didn't make it back here until December, and, uh, just, uh, the other day, um, came out and got it fixed, so, ended up costing me, uh, 50 bucks, the, uh, the, uh, the glass here is uh, uh, replaced. I paid him 50 for this, so overall pretty good. Got a nice, uh, always one of the uh, full size Space Invaders, Space Invaders game, and uh, uh, you know I think years to come. I think these are going to go uh, go up in value. I think right now the value of this would be about uh, value of this would be about uh, five hundred bucks, mm, maybe seven. Uh, but years to come, I think these are going to be. Uh, uh, once my generation gets a little bit older, they're probably going to want some more of these. So uh, I, I can see these going up in value over the years. Um, now I just got to find a place to get it. And uh, although I do like the bass, my wife can always knows uh, <laughs> as soon as I get on this thing, I can't sneak away and play it. But uh, uh, pretty happy with how the deal turned out. And uh, um, just goes to show, don't uh, don't forget about uh, trading when it comes to uh, making a deal. Um, it'll save you. It's a way to save some money. <laughs> 